data binding debugging has been a feature that has been asked for for quite some time in Silverlight and WPF. This allows us to set breakpoints on data binding statements within our XAML pages. When we hit these breakpoints, valuable information about the data binding source and the errors and what's going on within the data binding process are exposed to us within Visual Studio. This makes troubleshooting data binding issues incredibly easy and will save us a lot of time in our development, especially in data binding heavy applications such as the ones that we write when we're using MVVM. Let's take a look at the demo and see how this works. All right, so here we are back in our basic MVVM demo, and we're going to take a look at our data binding debugging capabilities. Now, I'm going to introduce a bug here. Let's say that when we keyed this in, we just said we were just binding this to say hello instead of say hello text. If we run this, we'll see obviously that when we type in a name here and say hello, we're not getting anything. So there's obviously a bug in here, and let's try to figure out where that is. All right, well, I think it probably has to do with our text block here and our binding. So new to Silverlight 5 is our ability to set a breakpoint right here on the binding statement in our XAML. Now when we run this, we'll hit that breakpoint and we are going to have some information available to us now, right down here in our locals window. We have something called here our binding state. And we expand that out here and it says that we have, there's an exception here. We have an error on our binding. And it says that it can't find the say hello property. Okay. Well, let's take a look at what we're actually binding to here. The most useful property in this binding state is the final source. And this tells us the source of the property that we're trying to get. So what we're saying is in our binding statement, the source of our binding is going to be our, our main view model. So that's correct. That's what we want. We want to bind to a property on our main view model. It allows us to expand that out and see kind of what's in here and, and maybe try to figure out what's going on. Well, we can see here that we have a property called say hello text as opposed to the say hello that we bound to. So that's obviously our our mistake. It should be say hello text. But this this look into the internals of a binding statement will prove to be very valuable to you when you are writing your Silverlight applications that, that rely on, on data binding. This will give you more information than you've ever had available to you when debugging. So let's go ahead and stop our, our application and we'll change that to say hello text. And now everything is working again as it should be. Data binding debugging will save you a ton of time. I hope you take advantage of it.